She is known for being an American novelist, critic, and political activist. Recognized for her acclaimed novel, The Group, her marriage to critic Edmund Wilson, and her well-known feud with playwright Lillian Hellman. Her name is Mary Therese McCarthy. In the world of literature and activism, one name stands out, Mary Therese McCarthy. An American novelist, critic, and political activist, McCarthy's impact on the literary world is undeniable. She is best known for her groundbreaking novel, The Group, which captivated readers and critics alike. But her influence extended far beyond her literary achievements. Born in America, McCarthy's talent and intellect were evident from an early age. She was recognized for her exceptional work and was awarded the Horizon Prize in 1949. This prestigious award showcased her brilliance and set the stage for her future success. McCarthy's contributions to the literary field were recognized through various accolades and fellowships. She was awarded two Guggenheim Fellowships in 1949 and 1959, further cementing her status as a literary powerhouse. Her membership in the National Institute of Arts and Letters and the American Academy in Rome solidified her place among the literary elite. But McCarthy's impact extended beyond her written words. She was a passionate advocate for social and political causes, using her platform to raise awareness and effect change. Her storied feud with playwright Lillian Hellman showcased her unwavering dedication to her beliefs and principles. In 1973, McCarthy delivered the Hoisinga Lecture in Leiden, the Netherlands, where she explored the question of whether there could be a Gothic literature. This thought-provoking lecture solidified her status as an intellectual force, challenging the boundaries of literary genres. McCarthy's contributions to literature and activism were recognized with numerous honors and awards. She won the National Medal for Literature and the Edward McDowell Medal in 1984, further solidifying her place in the literary canon. Mary Therese McCarthy's life and work serve as a reminder of the power of literature to inspire, provoke, and effect change. Her legacy will forever remind us of the importance of using our voices to advocate for what we believe in and to challenge the status quo. McCarthy's impact on the literary world and beyond will continue to shape the course of history for generations to come. Mary McCarthy's greatest literary achievement came in the form of her debut novel, The Company She Keeps. Published to critical acclaim, it caused a scandal with its unreserved frankness in depicting the social milieu of New York intellectuals in the late 1930s. The novel included her celebrated short story, The Man in the Brooks Brothers Shirt, which was published by Partisan Review in 1941. This provocative story recounted the sexual encounter between a young bohemian intellectual woman and a middle-aged businessman on a train. It shocked the literary world by not only exploring a woman's choice to engage in sexual activities with a stranger but also delving into her needs, desires, and the complexity of her identity. After establishing herself as a satirist and critic, McCarthy achieved popular success with the 1963 edition of her novel The Group, which remained on the New York Times bestseller list for nearly two years. Known for her precise prose and the intricate blending of autobiography and fiction, McCarthy's work captivated readers and critics alike. One notable aspect of McCarthy's life was her feud with fellow writer Lillian Hellman, which served as the inspiration for the play Imaginary Friends by Nora Ephron. The feud had simmered since the late 1930s due to ideological differences, particularly concerning the Moscow trials and Hellman's support for the Popular Front with Joseph Stalin. In 1979, McCarthy provoked Hellman with her infamous remark on The Dick Cavett Show, stating that every word Hellman wrote was a lie. This led Hellman to file a $2.5 million libel suit against McCarthy, which concluded after Hellman's death in 1984. The trial brought significant scrutiny and resulted in a decline in Hellman's reputation, as McCarthy and her supporters worked to expose Hellman's lies. Despite differences with some of her partisan review colleagues, who veered towards conservative politics after World War II, McCarthy maintained lifelong friendships with intellectuals such as Dwight MacDonald, Nicola Chiaramonti, Philip Rav, F. W. Dupuy, and Elizabeth Hardwick. Of particular importance was her close relationship with Hannah Arendt, with whom she engaged in intellectually rigorous correspondence. After Arendt's passing, McCarthy served as her literary executor from 1976 until her own death in 1989. In this role, McCarthy prepared Arendt's unfinished manuscript, The Life of the Mind, for publication. McCarthy also shared her knowledge and passion for literature as a teacher at institutions like Bard College and Sarah Lawrence College. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.